Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are transportation in animals, circulatory system in humans, excretory system in humans, transportation in plants, transpiration. So what do you think would be transportation in animals and plants? What is transportation? Transportation is all about carrying substances from one place to another. That is what we understand by transportation. Now, why do you think that we need transportation even inside our body? Now, not only human beings. Transportation is something which is again common to all plants as well as animals. Now, I will give you some examples which will tell you that yes, transportation is also needed. For example, you think of food. So why do we eat food? Because we need energy. When I say I need energy, who actually needs energy? Each and every cell of my body needs energy. Whether it is the cell which is, it is a cell which is present in my hand or a cell which is present in my foot. So every, every cell of my body needs energy because every cell inside my body is doing a lot of activities, is doing a lot of work. So when I am eating food, where is the food going? The food enters inside our mouth, it goes into our stomach, so in the stomach and intestine the food gets digested. But what after that? So the food gets digested in the stomach and intestine. But I want that digested food to be going to all cells of our body and then each and every cell will undergo respiration to produce energy. So. Who is going to transport that food from intestine to different parts of the body? Because if you look at our head, it is quite far from the intestine. You look at our feet, it is quite far from the intestine. So who is going to transport that? So that is where it comes transportation. So food was just one example. Not only food, a lot of other substances. For example, the waste products which are produced by each and every cell of our body. For example, in your colony, uh, all of us in our houses, we have dustbins. So why do we have dustbin? So that we can collect all the waste materials of our house. Now, once you fill your dustbin, what happens? You keep that dustbin outside and then you have a community dustbin where all the waste products of all the houses get collected. Correct? So in a similar way, inside our body also, each and every cell is producing some waste materials which needs to be thrown out. But those waste materials also need to be transported to the right place so that it can be excreted out of our body. So there also you have transportation. So basically transportation is something which is extremely important. So a lot of things, good or bad, need to be transported to different parts of our body. So internal transport when we talk about now when i talk about transportation i'm not talking about uh, vehicles trains buses and all i'm talking about transportation inside our body so in case of animals this internal transport is facilitated by circulatory system so circulatory system is one beautiful example of transportation where we will see that how different substances like whether it is food or it is hormones or some other useful chemicals how they get transported to different body parts. So one such example is transport of oxygen. We breathe in oxygen. Why? Because all cells of our body need oxygen. That means that oxygen when taken in, when breathed in, it directly reaches our lungs. From, but from lungs, they actually need to be transported to different cells of the body. Transport of water, each and every cell needs water. Transport of food, transport of hormones. So all these transportation is taken care by the circulatory system. So circulatory system is the first thing that we are going to discuss. Now a lot of questions in your mind. Okay. So I got to understand that there is something called circulatory system. But who is transporting all these substances throughout our body? For example, when we want to transport uh, our furniture from, one, from our old house to our new house, we have some vehicles like buses or trucks who carries those furniture from one house to another. But in this case, in the circulatory system, what is that substance which will actually carry the various substances to different parts of the body? 
how this transport will take place. And this circulatory system can also have a lot of issues which might give rise to circulatory disorders. So if one part of the circulatory system is not functioning properly, it might give rise to some problems to the overall system of circulation. So here we are going to spend some time to understand the circulatory system in more detail. So now this entire lesson I have divided it into different sections. So in the first section we will talk about the circulatory system in animals and in that too we will primarily discuss about human beings because that is something which is most easy for you to understand. Then we will talk about circulatory system in plants also and we will spend some time understanding other systems which are also transportation systems. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.